In this video, I am going to tell how to make an analysis of a simply supported beam applied with uniformly varying load. So this is the question I am going to take, a simply supported beam with uniformly varying load. So we have to compute shear force and bending moment diagram for the beam which is shown in the figure and also maximum deflection to be calculated. The Rectangular cross section area of the beam can be assumed as 0.2 meter into 0.3 meter. Young's modulus is given as 210 gigapascal and Poisson ratio is 0.27. So this was the beam. Let us open the ANSYS. So first as usual, select what type of problem it is. Click preferences, structural, OK. Preprocessor, we have to assign the element click element type add so no element is defined so click add so this is a beam element click beam 2 node 188 ok close it then we need to give material properties click material properties material model it is a structural linear elastic and isotropic problem ex and prxy should be given EX is Young's modulus, PRXY is Poisson ratio. So in the problem it is given as uh, Young's modulus as 210 gigapascal and Poisson ratio is 0.27. So 210 gigapascal can should be converted into Newton per meter square. So just 210 E9. So that is 210 into 10 to the power 9 Newton per meter square. PRXY is 0.27 click OK close it before going to the modeling we need to give the thickness of the beam so for that click section beam common section so in that it is asking breadth and height of the beam in the problem it is given as rectangular cross-sectional area of the beam should be assumed as 0.2 meter into 0.3 meter so 0.2 is the breadth and 0.3 is the height so that give here 0 0.2 and that is 0 0.3 click ok now we can model the beam so go to modeling create i am going to create this beam using nodes so click nodes so before creating a node we have to check the problem so how many nodes can be created uh, so here um, 3 meter of the beam is applied with uh, 40 kN per meter of varying load and uh, here point load of 80 kN is acting. So which means node 1, node 2, node 3 and node 4 can be created and in between node 1 and node 3 we can, we can fill a uh, number of nodes. So that's what I am going to do. Uh, so open ANSYS. So, click nodes in active CS. So, node number 1 will be an, at origin 0, 0, 0. Click apply. And node number 2, so should be of 3 meter from the origin. So, 3. Click apply. And node number 3, according to the problem, 3 plus 1.5, that is 4.5 meter. So, node number 3 should be 4. Point 5 meter 4.5 apply and then node number 4 3 plus 3 6 meter so node number 4 should be 6 meter that is 6 ok so that's how we have created 4 nodes so in between node 1 and 2 uniformly varying load is applied so for that click fill between nodes click node 1 and node 2 um, we can fill uh, four nodes in between 1 2 3 and 4 okay so for that click node 1 and 2 click ok so node uh, 1 and 2 is selected a number of uh, nodes to fill we can uh, take it as 4 and starting number of nodes should be um, 4 already given so we can take it as 5 5 click ok so that's all we have uh, created uh, 4 nodes in between node 1 and 2 so just uh, 
join all these nodes to a form a beam so for that click element auto numbered through nodes click node 1 and 5 apply 5 6 apply so like that to join all the nodes using the same option we can join all the nodes to form a beam so we created a beam since we have created this beam using a nodal option no need to mesh it directly we can apply the load so according to the problem node 1 and node 4 should be simply supported which means it should be arrested along ui and uh, node 1 in between node 1 and 2 we have to give a uniformly varying load of 40 kN per meter so first let us fix node 1 and 4 we'll go to the problem so for that click loads analysis type new analysis check whether the analysis is in static condition click ok define loads apply so in structural for fixing the loads we can give displacement on nodes since we have drawn the beam using nodal option we have to click on nodes click node 1 and node 4 click ok click ui if ui is not uh, supported sometimes you won't get result uh, when you fix nodes along ui if you don't get any result you can fix uh, in all uif okay click ok so now um, we have to give uh, a point load of 80 kilo newton in node 3 so let us give that so force and moment on nodes so node 3 click ok along y axis it is uh, given as uh, 80 kilo newton since it is downward put as minus 80,000 ok so 80,000 newton of force is applied on node 3 now we can give the uniform varying load for that click pressure on beam click all the lines in between node 1 and 2 so this is the portion we need to give uniform varying load click apply here since it is a varying load we have to give in i we can give us 0 and in j we can give us 40 kN per meter that is 40,000 click ok now here in between node 1 and 2 uniformly varying load is applied now we, now we can solve click solution solve current ls ok so solution is done we can extract the solution so according to the problem we need to calculate maximum deflection and also shear force and bending mode diagram should, should be generated so to get the maximum deflection click general post processor plot result contour plot nodal solution dof solution here all the component displacement can be extracted so to get a maximum deflection click displacement vector sum click ok so the maximum deflection of the beam applied with uniformly varying load is 0.988 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter so change the view if you want to see this in 3d click plot control style size and shape this will be in off condition click this to on click ok so this is the maximum deflection of the beam applied with uniformly varying load the red color shows the maximum deflection that is 0.989 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter if you want to change the background so before capturing this image if you want to change the background to white color the procedure is click plot control style colors so click reverse video now the background has been changed to white color so it will be quite easier to take print out if you want to save this in jpeg click plot control ok 
capture image now the file has been captured as a jpeg you can save as like you want so now uh, i'm going to change this into normal view colors reverse video so now we can uh, compute shear force and bending moment diagram so for that first we need to create a table click table define table so no table is defined click add so for uh, computing shear force and bending moment diagrams sequence number should be given in terms of sm isc so first sequence number 2 to 8 will give the shear force diagram 6 to 12 will give the bending moment diagram first to 2 apply so it is gets uh, added in the table next by sequence number 8 apply by sequence number 6 apply by sequence number 12 okay so now all the sequence number has been defined in the table click close it now we can directly compute the shear force and bending moment diagram so go to plot result line element result click in contour plot you will find a line element result click that one so here it is asking what is the element uh, table item of node i and node j node i should be 2 and node j should be 8 to get this shear force diagram click apply so change the view so this is the shear force diagram then for bending moment diagram click the same option so instead of 2 to 8 give 6 to 12 click okay so this is the bending moment diagram so now all the values has been calculated that is maximum deflection shear force diagram and bending moment diagram thank you